Wednesday's Federal Executive Council meeting was chaired by President Goodluck Jonathan and had almost every cabinet minister in attendance. The meeting was largely devoted to discussing the agriculture sector and the proposal to establish 10 rice mills and 6 cassava processing plants. Minister of Agriculture Akin Wumi Adeshino says the project, which would cost government 16 billion naira, would help boost rice production. We are finding that we don't have enough of the rice mills and our farmers are finding in some cases challenges um, actually processing that. The private sector should normally go in, but interest rate is very, very high, 28% interest rate. Lack of long-term financing for that private sector to do that. And most of the private sector that want to do that don't even have access to land. So it's a whole series of issues that we have to deal with. So what we have decided then to do is government will not fold its hand. Government has to be government. What you need is not less of government. You need more of government doing the right things. And so we decided that government has to play a role, which is government-enabled private sector-led transformation. The Minister of State for Power, Mohamed Wakil, also briefed on Council's approval to purchase a 1 by 53 KVA transformer for a substation in Meduguri to help boost power supply in Boronu State. With this, it will give room for opening of a new corridor for the expansion in future. And it is going to complement the existing power supply in Meduguri and by extension is going to boost you know, businesses like the small businesses, SME and others. Uh, if you can recall, in my last briefing here last week, I did say that uh, expansion of transition is ongoing. The President has given us that matching order. Works Minister Mike Onolememe also spoke on council ratification of the Lagos Abidjan Subregional Road Corridor Treaty. Abidjan Lagos Corridor Project, which we have a supranatural, a supranational status. Nigerians will be able to really boost her trade in terms of regional trade in the sub-region. In other words, all the good work that is going on in the various sectors of our economy, in the agriculture, manufacturing, industries, and the mining sector, we will not be able to take advantage of the regional integration in the sub-region to really take over a commanding share of the ECOWAS market. The road corridor is aimed at linking countries in West Africa to boost trade and international relations. From the Asoro Presidential Villa, Ayami Hiro Atta, ITV News, Abuja.